This tutorial is for Jason Wingrove. Jason uh, tweeted me something about speed ramping being confusing in Final Cut 10. I decided to leave the house on a nice quiet afternoon, drive to the office, and do this tutorial. Jason, this is for you. So here is a blank folder on my RAID for Jason, and here is a bunch of uh, sample um, folders that I always use to start jobs and I'm going to drag one piece of media into my media file. I am then going to come over to Final Cut. I'm going to say I want to start a new library and I am going to call said library, the same thing as the folder, 140111 Wingrove. Okay, and I'm going to go like that. Now, uh, the library name is going to be called, or the, is it the library? Yeah, no, it's the event name. It's going to be called uh, Speed Ramp. For Jason, this is just for you. And then I'm going to take in my sample folders, that, and this is in one of my tutorials. So basically, I've started a job now. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that piece of media, and I'm going to drag it into, whoops, I missed it. That's a finder trick. And I'm going to put that into one of my test keywords here. So there's my, um, it's not test, but it's a sample kind of like, you know, this is a camera A card one. All right. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new um, project and I'm going to call it um, this is the sequence. Basically, we'll call it speed. Uh, no, I'm going to call it Wingrove and I'm going to call it uh, speed ramp and I'm going to call it version one. All right. So that is a uh, timeline here and that actually will re reside in my custom thing that has all my projects in it. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this said clip and I'm going to just hit the letter E and I'm going to lay it down into my timeline. Now I'm not a award-winning awesome cinematographer like you. No, nope, I'm an idiot driving around with his iPhone out the window. So what I've got here is I drove through the Target parking lot. We're going to we're going to call this epic cop, uh, shopping cart and we're going to slow down on these logos as we pass by them, okay? So basically I'm going to start the clip about here. I'm going to top that. I'm going to come over here and I'll tail that like that. And what I'm using there is option left bracket to top it and option right bracket to end it. And then we're going to just zoom that out. Okay, so now we have some space to work. Now, the way I want this to work is I want to slow down on these target logos here. So I want to go, now you had requested in your tweet, you said go 330, 300, it can't be done or something like that, some nonsense like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I'm going to just, just for the sake of arguments, I'm going to just put a marker here, and this is just to help me find it later. And then I'm going to put another marker, say, Mm, we'll put it there. Okay, so basically this will go fast, then it's going to slow down across here. And then actually, I'm going to move this mark, I'm going to put a different marker, because I don't like this one, I'm going to delete this one, Yeah, delete that. So I'm going to just go, and then it's going to speed up again. Okay, now let's actually do the speed round. First thing I do is I hit Command R, which elevates this little green bar that proves to me, look at me, I'm messing with the speed. And then I'm going to place the cursor on the first marker and come over to this little speed ramp window and I'm going to say um, blade speed and what that actually does is it puts a little tight I'll move the cursor out of the way it puts a little marker there and it says that this part of the clip will go one speed and then this part will go another speed so now I'm going to just put my um, my playhead on the other marker and I'm going to blade the speed again because that's where I want to speed up now you said 330 300 so here we go First thing I'm going to do, because I've been messing with this, is I turn off the speed transition. You could leave it on. I'm going to turn it off for the sake of demonstration. And I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to come down here to custom, and you requested three, 30%, so there we go. So now that is 30% across there. We'll smooth it out later. Then on the first half, you, you wanted that to be 300, so I'm going to go 300 there. And then on the tail part, we're going to go 300 there. So we've got 333. 300 and uh 300 percent 30 percent and 300 so now we'll go and we'll watch that and we'll go boom now it's the slow part then we want to speed up and take off okay epic shopping cart now's where you do with the speed rampy now it's important to understand what all these colors mean blue means your fast speed orange means your slow speed blue means your fast speed again but when i come back to my speed rampy guy and say speed transition watch what happens in the timeline Doopy doopy doop. Okay, so what we have is we have this ramp zone into 
our um, slow-mo, and then we have a ramp zone out of it. And we can adjust how quickly it ramps by changing the length of that. So if I wanna do, if I wanna ramp into it slowly, or excuse me, quickly, I'll make this area really short. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the coming out of it section uh, longer, so it'll slowly ramp up. So now I'm gonna hit home, and I'm gonna go boom, 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 and then it goes whoosh, and go. See how it, it, it actually went kind of slower coming out of it. it. Slows down quickly and then and it speeds up and goes. And then the last thing that you can do if you want to get super duper fancy and let it take its time is you can come in over here into video quality and you can do the frame flame flame blending frame brent frame blending or you can do the optical flow. And the optical flow looks really nice. Um, it does take a little bit longer to render, but we can just try it anyway. And there's the optical flow. And that that actually, when the optical flow is done, that stutteriness uh, will go away. Okay, so there you go. And this is on a 2012 iMac. So there's your speed ramping. I don't know, it doesn't seem hard to me. Maybe I'm missing something. And if I am, by all means, let me know. Because I'm sure you will. Later, later.